Welcome. Today we will analyze this famous painting, Liberty Leading the People, by Eugene Delacroix. This large oil on canvas has become a universal symbol of liberty and democracy, and it is often used in popular culture to symbolize people's emancipation from oppressive domination. Let's see why. The revolution depicted in this painting is not to be confused with the 1789 French Revolution. Delacroix was in fact inspired by the events of the July Revolution of 1830, also called the Three Glorious Days. This was a revolutionary moment in French history, because it brought all the people together against the ruling king, who was King Charles X. On the 26th of July 1830 the king issued a set of restrictive ordinances, which limited the freedom of the people. Citizens started to protest against this, but it quickly escalated and became a violent revolt. For three days barricades were set up in the Paris streets, and people fought the royal army. Many were killed. Eventually Charles X abdicated and a constitutional monarchy, called the July Monarchy, was established with Louis-Philippe I being made King of France. Historians speculate that Delacroix's dependence on royal commissions prevented him from taking part in the rebellion outright. But he had always advocated for liberalism, and was moved when he saw insurgents raise the French national flag on Notre Dame, which was a turning point in the revolt. Struck by a feeling of patriotism and pride as he observed his fellow citizens fighting, he finished this painting in just three months. Liberty Leading the People presents a scene filled with action and intensity, in which the central character is a woman surrounded by hundreds of men following her lead. She appears as a powerful force running forward, over what appears to be a barricade. She is a personification of liberty, a classical symbol used throughout the history of art. Her yellow dress swirls around her body, loosely tied with red rope and exposing her breasts. She is depicted in a manner that recalls heroic Greek sculptures. She is also wearing a red Phrygian cap, which has been a long-standing symbol of freedom since ancient Roman times. In her left hand is a large musket with a bayonet attached to its muzzle, and she hoists the tricolor flag with her right hand. She embodies both the modern struggle and antiquity's ideology of freedom. The fighters are also idealized figures, representing the different types of people who took part in the revolution. This boy is a student, who seems rather wild as he holds not one but two pistols. He is the symbol of youthful insurgents, and his velvet cap and satchel indicate that he is a schoolboy. On the left, there is a man whose outfit indicates that he is a member of the lower class. The figure right next to him wears a bourgeois outfit, complete with a top hat, jacket and vest. Delacroix clearly suggests that people of all classes came together to fight for a better society. The revolution was not about one class fighting another, but it was about the people rallying against royalist oppression. This figure is looking up at the woman as if she is a symbol of salvation. The colors that he's wearing are reminiscent of the French flag. In the foreground there are several dead bodies of soldiers and citizens, representing the terrible costs of the revolution. In the background Delacroix depicted part of the Notre Dame Cathedral, rising through a clearing of smoke. While it was a revolutionary time in France, it was as much so in the world of art, as Romanticism was quickly spreading all over Europe. The primary essence of Romanticism was its revolt against the intellectualism from the Age of Enlightenment, which valued reason and order. Romanticism, instead, favored the expression of emotions, with an emphasis on color and movement. Delacroix was the leading figure of the French Romantic School. He painted a very contemporary subject, but he highlighted the drama of the scene and the sense of hope brought by the liberty, creating an enduring image of what we imagine a revolution to feel like, violent, ecstatic, and murderous. This allegorical painting became a political poster, not only for the July Revolution in France, but for all the people fighting for freedom. It even inspired the design of the Statue of Liberty in New York. So, do you like this painting? Leave a comment and subscribe to the channel.